In today's video, I want to show you two techniques that I use to help bring out the melody of a fingerstyle guitar piece. Recently, I was reviewing some of the student video uploads on studywithadam.com. I noticed that students were playing pieces and the melody was actually the quietest thing in the whole piece. So imagine you've got a choir singing, but you only have one person singing the melody and you've got 50 people singing the other parts in the choir. So we want to make sure that that melody volume is up. The place to start is awareness of the problem. So I do this all the time. I use my smartphone and I record myself as I practice. It doesn't have to be high fidelity, but let's see if the melody is audible. This is not something we want to fix in the mix after a recording. You want to really produce a good volume and a good tone on the melody. One of the things that I suggest to students is to think outside the box. If you have played uh, guitar and you use all three fingers of the right hand, you might think that, well, if I got, if that's my melody note, and I want an E minor chord under it, let's say, I've got to pluck three fingers on the top three strings and just pluck. I find when I hear many people, the bottom and middle, they overpower the melody. It's, it sounds like this volume difference. Imagine, right, there's almost no volume on the melody. There's a couple of techniques that that I do. First, let's imagine that you don't have to pluck every string individually. Take a finger, this is going to feel weird at first, but just, just roll with me on this. Um, and imagine strumming, but what we're going to do is we're making contact with the first string in this case, right? But we're going to, we're going to be a little sloppy and we're going to let it graze past the other strings. So we're getting a hint of the other strings, but we're getting the pop on the one string. Okay, so that's, that's one technique. So sometimes I do this, for example, in the middle of Mas Kanata, where it goes ba 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 ba. I'll do on an A minor chord. I'll just play it with two fingers. That enables my right hand to be a little bit more rhythmic and a little more careless and also I'm sure that I'm going to bring out that melody. Now the second technique that I want to show you is very similar. You're going to put the second finger on the top string and the first finger on the third string and maybe a bass note. But what you're going to do with the fingers is you're going to, you're going to play in such a way that you kind of graze some of the other strings, particularly the second string. Same idea. So we're getting a little bit of definition here. We're getting a little bit of definition here, and then those other notes are quieter. So for example, I'm going thumb, index, middle. We're hearing lots of other notes, but we're getting the volume out on the top note, particularly the top and bottom, actually. So if I play Mas Que Nada slowly, let's look and see what happens at the A minor chord. I'll, I'll use some of these right hand techniques that I'm talking about, okay? A one, two, ready, and go. Okay, see? See how nice that melody comes out over the chords, volume-wise? That's something to pay particular attention to. I can't tell you how many students play great arrangements, but the melody's too quiet. Take your iPhone or your Android, record yourself, and see what you hear, and if this is something that could possibly help you. Alrighty, God bless. Thank you for watching.